suicide guy. Um, pretty big one that I've heard about quite a bit. I've actually seen some YouTubers playing it before. How? So it should be pretty obvious what um you do in the game. This isn't much of a I guess it would count as a first impressions video, but you know. I've heard of it before and seen it before and shit. I don't like the motion blur, the motion effects. The art style is nice, I like that. So, um, I remember some people talking about, um, suicide and weather, and, you know, depression and all that, and, um, I'm not sure if I'm really all on board or making that sort of a joke in this sort of game, but, um, you know, that there's, there is that idea that people come along with comedy, whereas, um, you get to a topic like this and it's like, oh geez, we better not talk about it, we better never talk about this topic or whatever. And um, you don't really want to be like that with depression because that only just makes people um, more afraid to talk about the topic and to address their to um, subject matter and actually talk about their depression and help prevent people from actually solving their problems. So, oh, that's nice, it's got collectibles. Do I... Okay, I just touch it. Let's cause that problem, so I'm not entirely sure whether it's good or bad, because, um... In copy sense, even if you're making fun of it, it still does make it something that people are talking about, and I guess that's... That's good, in a way. It's more of how you address this sort of thing, like, there's crude humor, and... I hate everything's talked about it before. I can't remember with what movie or game it was. Yeah, it's definitely a movie. Or maybe a TV series. Yeah, it was, it was a movie. Like some YouTuber movie. And, um, what makes it crude or humorous is, um, that when someone does something crude, that people react to it as if it was crude. So, um, for instance, the example we provided was, um, I don't know what the show was called, but it was like this guy eating a dog, and everyone was reacting like, that's pretty fucked up, like, what the hell, dude, and that's what made it funny, when things would just get worse and worse, is just because everyone else was just like, what the fuck, so if they're not reacting to it, it's not really crude, no. but it's not really humorous, it's just crude, or offensive, I should say, so... You still gotta address address the situation, whatever it is, even if it's comedic, with some level of respect as to not just be rude and insulting. To actually have some context for the situation. Employee of the month, October. So I'm just called October. Am I called October, or is it the month of October? <laughs> so, um, everything, luckily, in this game, even though it's quite lacking, has all got, um, artistic cohesion. You know, like, everything seems like it belongs to this world. So. <laughs> oh, am I gonna die of obesity in this one? <laughs> Why did the be across the road? He has his arms up like... Like he's got his arms up here, but it's not actually holding the thing. Fucking hilarious. Like, it's just how far some people, like, um, Valve and Bethesda just have you hold the object in midair. But, you know, games like this, or, or games have it like you're just actually holding the item. Or games like this in Viscera Cleanup Detail, it's like, 
they just kind of float there, like in a valve or Bethesda game, and your hands are just outstretched, like, yep, I'm holding it. I always, um, pulling this game out just for being about to, um, suicide. It's, it's one of those things, again, about censorship that it's like, well, you're either all for something or you're all against it, so I don't really like the idea of this. Yeah. Okay, that, that's still confusing. But, um, that's the same person. Yeah, it is. You know, there is a whole censorship thing of comedians that um, isn't really too cool. Oh <laughs> uh, shit, portal. Getting some portal in here. He's straight up portal. I mean, it's not in their styles, so I appreciate that. But you can tell it's straight up portal. 